culture. We can't do without it. The first thing we present to our guests, we have the SDO in our midst to create the location. Please do, the Vice Council and members of the diplomatic community. <laughs> Let me come this way. Come this way. She is about the community. She has five. the quadri ala limba ino ni mien le quadri ala nigeria le quadri ali bo le quadri ai na yo chineke onye kire ni gbe na sima ndi o cha abira na ogwera ai he le quadri ai na yo chineke Kain told you that you don't know when you're watching Navata. Oh, you do. Is it I ain't Kefako? Oglogondria. Is I you? Is Royal and I say Eku? Oglogondria. Is a good one with you? Oglogondria. President Nitico, I am sitting there A dialect, full of not which is planted in Nigeria and all over. 2nd March 2015, at the CDC Labour Club, Melo Farm, but uh, the High Commissioner, the Nigerian High Commissioner Yaoundé, her Excellency Adesa Mustafa. Members of the diplomatic corps, the senior regional officer, Paco, the government delegate, Limbe City Council, the regional officer, Limbe One, Senator Paco, the parliamentarian Paco, traditional rulers the distinguished gallant members of the security team in Limbe. Title Chief, distinguished members of the Ohanes and Limbo in Cameroon, all other protocols observed. Good afternoon and welcome to this inaugural ceremony of the cultural and heritage of Limbo in Cameroon. The idea of forming a cultural group that brings together all the Igbo people in the Igbo dates back to 1997. And the man who was so challenged to gather in the Igbo was Mazi God of the It did, it did not 
works in 1997. He tried again in the year 2000 under the name Igbo Union. Again, it is not jailed together. We know it is not always easy to gather human beings together. Then come March 2008. He opened for again, made another attempt to bring Nibu together. This time, he stopped the people and the idea was immediately brought over by the people invited to a meeting. While the Kuroko Dogley provided the idea, Chief Emeritus Wanderi made available space for the cultural association to gain accessibility to the youth. Chief Paul Lumbawa officially finally consolidates the association by making available the ground for a large meeting. When asked why he was bent on founding this cultural association, Mas God of Okoronko replied that he was worried that people were rapidly losing their language, culture, industry, and hard work accommodation on the, of one another. Innovativeness, reliance, sense of of the future to, to mention a few. Many young men and women, the observed, have completely lost touch with their identity and they have faith. The only way to, remain, to remedy this situation, he pleaded, was to come together and share in the beauties of, this, of the culture and heritage of Indi. Your identity believe as presently consulted come into to be in July 2008 with Chief Dr. Donatus Olechuku as interim president and has as its cardinal aim and objective as stated in the alliance. A. Promotion of peace among members as well as with our neighbors in our neighborhood by resolving disputes that may arise from time to time. B. Promote the language and culture of Ndigo. C. Encourage members to send their child to school, especially the girl child. D. Encourage the school children by giving advice, prizes, etc., etc. Encourage members to be law abiding and to respect the law of Cameroon. To advise and encourage the members to stop criminal behavior, he said to embrace hard work and duty consciousness. Mm. Every member of the Nibu must be registered member of the Nigerian Union in Limbe. Since the Nigerian Union is the common umbrella which houses all Nigerians resident in Cameroon, to be our brothers and sisters keeper in bad times and to rejoice with our brothers and sisters in good times. Respect the culture of our host community, Limbe, and to encourage social cultural integration with our host community and neighbors. As there are lots of marriages taking place between Cameroonians and Nigeria, one of the items in the infrastructural development plan of the ONS and Limbe in Limbe is the construction of a civic center and school. This project are estimated to cost about 110 million francs CFA. For us to achieve this, we need the support of all of us here present. The support can be in form of cash, material and kind. We the members of our and people are We envisage a time to the future when our children will take lessons on the Igbo vernacular so that the Igbo language does not become 
a stage in Cameroon because our language is our identity and the, the bacon of our culture. We also look forward to joyfully in the celebration of the first sack in Libya. We can only do so when we will have organized our cultural capability to meet the standard of first sack organizers. It is only with this kind of cultural interactions that harmony can be ensured in Libya and its environment. We want to use this medium and opportunity to play our total loyalty to the administration and to the forces of law and order in Libya. In the same vein, we also plead that the forces of law and order continue as usual to protect us and the, our properties. May God bless, fertilize and, fertilize and water the desirable relation and the cooperation between Cameroon and Nigeria. Long live Fahadez and Nigo. Long live Federal Republic of Nigeria. Long live Republic of Cameroon. Please give a very powerful round of applause to Chief Victor Anthony. Okay. What's the brilliant address? He has handed his address over to the SDOs.
great joy, pride and honor to be in your midst as a living witness to this heroic event organized today, Sunday, 22nd of March 2015 at the CDC Labor Club Middle Farm, Limbe. Before I proceed, permit me to express gratitude to my boss, the Senior Divisional Officer of FACO, Mr. Zandete, for making me to enter the historical annals of Ohana NZ. D. Ibo in Cameroon. Please give me a big round of applause. It's very easy. He could have loved to personally participate in this August occasion, but prior to other state imperative, he has asked me to sincerely congratulate the organizers for the splendid, colorful, and cultural display and massive turnout of your population in their various lands and capacities, in spite of your charge schedule and other commitment to foster this day a reality in the minds of the Nigerian community in Cameroon. Indeed, you all merit hands of applause for the excellent organizational skills. Perusing through African history before independence of the 1960s, the Nigerians and Cameroonian people have been cohabited in as far back as yesteryear, even before the coming of white man, that is, the British, the French, and the German. Clap for ourselves. Cameroon and Nigeria have demonstrated not only to Africa, Europe, Asia, but to the world that excellent diplomatic relations exist between the two heads of state. His Excellency, good luck, Ebele Jonathan, and His Excellency, Paul Bia. Long live the Nigerian community in Fapo Division, in Cameroon in general. Long live the republics of Nigeria and Cameroon. Long live the two heads of states. Thank you for your keen attention. I'm not going